Hi guys, so this is my white noise generator, or actually part of the equipment that I'm going to use to illustrate it. First of all, this is the radio receiver that I built that I've already shown some pictures of. So I've got you know, power supply input, indicator, audio output. This is right now just going to an audio amplifier so you can hear the quiet crackle in the background. Now, right now I've got the input going to a cable, and obviously there's just some kind of drifty noise. I can prove that that's not the receiver itself, because if I disconnect this and I put on a termination resistor, you can see, and I can prove that a couple of things. First of all, even with that all the way up, BFOs kind of want to be a noise there, but uh, if I just kind of tune it around and stuff, you can see that there's no, it's not picking up any signal. And if I were to put a pure tone on here, like from an RF generator, you would be able to pick up, once you tune it in of course, either a pure tone or just a dead carrier, but whichever it's how you receive it. So the difference is, with this source on here, uh, with this source on here, uh, it's going through all kinds of noise, as you can tell. And this is blinking. In fact, it just drifted through one, so there you have it. Now what the signal is, is cable comes up here and it's just going to BNC adapter and what I've got here is just a 555 oscillator, bypass capacitor, timing resistor, timing capacitor and it's not actually even connected to the antenna connection it's the adjacent slot in the breadboard so it's like 2PF coupling in. It's still pretty strong. And this is running at about 100 kilohertz, as you can see up here. Excuse the contrast, I have a lot of light in here. But it says it's got this square wave with a little bit of humpiness on it. It's 116 kilohertz. It's running some voltage. It's uh, fairly sharp. Not bad for a 555, I suppose. It's about, it's probably 50 nanoseconds rise time, so it's generating plenty of harmonics. And what does that look like? If I come over to the radio and just kind of tune lazily around, so I'm going up in frequency. Now there's nothing. And a little more, a little more. Coming into something else. Now it's dead again. If I go back down through that, it's actually, uh, you know, that's what happens when I go through it. You see, it's very noisy on the side. It's pretty quiet actually in the center, and then it goes away again. If I try to stay on the center, it, you see it gets away from me. It's still extremely drifty. If I turn on the BFO so you can hear tones, you hear it's got this kind of whirring, rumbling. You can still tell it has something of a tone, but it's got that kind of sound to it that suggests that the frequency is not particularly stable and I mean not just because you can see it's drifting up and down but because it really isn't very stable it's got a lot of phase noise so what is this actually showing well You might be familiar with the duality between 
time and frequency. If you have just a regular square wave, you know that the transform of that has a fundamental spike, it has a harmonic, it has harmonics, and so on. And it'll just kind of go off Well, they don't go off infinitely. That's one of the limitations of real signals. But what's happening here is this is like our 116 kilohertz or whatever it was. And then this is 3, 5, 7, so on and so forth. This radio is tuned for about 14 megahertz. So let's put this on a different scale here. So let's say this is like 10, 20, 5, 15. So we're around here. That's like 14. We've got all this stuff going on down here in the like well, even way less than that in the 1 megahertz range. And then these harmonics are coming down on this 1 over x kind of curve. And by the time they're out in this 14 meg range, if you zoom that in, that looks like here's a spike, here's a spike, here's a spike, here's a spike. And these are all about 116k hertz apart. And it's just a forest of them all the way across. So what we're doing when we tune across here is, here's where the receiver is tuned. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. And what the relevance is, this width here, the width of that spike, corresponds to the variation in various aspects of this waveform. The variation in pulse width, the variation in period, all of that. What happens is a modulation here looks like a modulation, so you get sidebands around not just the fundamental but every single harmonic as well because every harmonic is simply multiplied of that. So what looks like a fairly straightforward square wave, you see on this saw on the oscilloscope it's pretty stable. By the time you get out to the I mean, I'm in the hundreds of harmonics here. These things are very widely spaced, and even though out of a 10 megahertz, this is still fairly well defined, the width of this is like 10 kilohertz or so, and that's why you get this. There's one side, there's the other side. That's, uh, what is it? That's within, uh, I just lost it. That's like within a one turn of the control, which I think is like 10 kilohertz. So as far as being able to say that this is a generator of white noise, it's not too unfair. <laughs>